This week on The Wire, home values surge past $9 trillion, vacancies remain tight nationally, and some lenders pay LMI. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, home values surge past $9 trillion. So the total value of residential real estate in Australia has surged to $9.1 trillion, gaining a $1 trillion in just five months to set a record valuation for the sector. Now the total value of homes across the country is now 28.2% higher than the estimated value of superannuation, the ASX and commercial real estate, says CoreLogic data. Now in the past 12 months, home values rose by an average of 20.3%, which was the fastest rate of annual growth since June 1989. Now, CoreLogic's Eliza Owen says the rapid growth in values means dwellings are of increasing importance to household wealth and can generate more investor interest. Now, New South Wales took the largest slice of the country's residential market with 41%, which amounts to $3.76 trillion. Victoria has 28% of the total value and Queensland accounted for 15%. Now, Western Australia has 7.2% of the housing market, South Australia, 4%, the ACT, 1.9%, and the Northern Territory, 0.5%. Now, the sharp rise in valuations comes as the national median house price rose to $719,000 in September, and units rose to $587,000. Now, guys, moving on to our next story. Vacancies remain tight nationally. So the national residential property vacancy rates rose marginally to 1.7% in September from 1.6% in August, but it remains below the 2% level of a year ago. Now, new figures from SQM Research show that five of the eight capital cities continue to have vacancy rates well below 1%, while Brisbane is only slightly higher at 1.4%. Now, Melbourne, where the vacancy rate remains steady at 3.5% in September, is the only capital city above the industry benchmark of 3%. Now, Sydney dropped from 3.5% a year ago to 2.7% now, although the inner city area is much higher. Now, the figures are broadly in line with those published last week by domain.com.au. Now, SQM research data also shows that 70% of locations across regional Australia have vacancy rates below 1% also. SQM Managing Director Louis Christopher says vacancy rates remain in favour of landlords for most capital cities, with the exception of Melbourne and inner Sydney. And now, guys, for our final story of the week, some lenders pay LMI. So there is a new weapon in the battle to attract customers in a competitive home loan market, which is covering the cost of lenders' mortgage insurance, sometimes known as LMI. Now, LMI is payable on mortgages with a loan-to-valuation ratio, that's an LVR, of 80% or above, and can cost borrowers $11,000 on a $700,000 loan with an LVR of 88%. Now this cost does nothing for the borrower. The borrower pays the premium, but the insurance protects only the lender and is another impediment to affordability. So it's welcome news that some lenders are waiving LMI. Now lender 86400 was the first to offer a discount deal in August. Bank of Queensland followed suit in September and Homestart has done so this month, says comparison website Mozo. Now 86400 as an example offers loans up to an 85% LVR with no LMI. Now, Bank of Queensland is similar, although the loan carries a 0.3% interest rate loading. Now, the Homestar Finance option uh, is its new star choice LMI waiver offer available to, uh, for loans that are up to a 90% LVR. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.